A bad USB in the simplest of terms is a USB device that connects to a computer and appears as a keyboard. Once it's connected, it takes a set of instructions from a payload and then executes commands from those instructions. The Flipper Zero uses DuckyScript 1.0 to write up payloads, and this is the syntax. It takes about five minutes to skim through. It, it's really not that hard to grasp. 90% of the time, you'll essentially just be chaining keyboard commands using string, delay, and enter. String specifies that you want the following to be typed out. Delay is a delay, but you'll find it's necessary between almost every command because you'll need to properly synchronize the time it takes for each command to fully execute before starting the next. And finally, enter is enter, and, and you'll need it after all of your strings. Now, before I dive any deeper, I don't encourage or condone using a bad USB on anyone that hasn't specifically granted permission. Only test on your own devices. And if you don't, you're more than likely going to be holding pockets and picking up soap, which I don't recommend. So I'm going to start by showing how easy it is to create a payload that will get you to the command line as an admin and takes less than 10 seconds to execute. We start with a one second delay. Then we type control escape, which is the equivalent of hitting the windows key. A half a second delay in between that. Then we use a string to type CMD. We then type control shift enter to open command line as an admin and then type left because there's a pop-up confirmation for opening command line with admin privileges and then one more enter to confirm and that's it i mean this isn't inherently bad but to put this in perspective once you're an admin you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want like turn off a firewall or brick a computer or specify and delete whatever you want and this is just the tip of the iceberg it gets way worse but I have no intention of going any farther. Instead, I'm gonna walk you through the steps you can take to prevent yourself from being the victim of any of these scenarios. First, set a goddamn password on your computer. Not having a password is like the equivalent of walking around in public with your credit card information sharpied onto your forehead. Second, set your screen to lock after 15 minutes of inactivity. Again, this is like leaving the front door unlocked when going out to dinner. Third, this is kind of extreme, but there's a way to disable all USB connectivity on a Windows 10 machine by changing a setting in the computer's registry, which I don't recommend touching because you can do way more harm than good. Uh, instead, if you type this into a notepad file and then change the notepad file from .txt to reg, you can make the change right there by double clicking it. And then you can turn USB connectivity back on by creating another text file with the same exact code, but instead of the four at the end, you'll put a three. And the last is to be mindful. If your crazy uncle who just got out of prison for grand larceny is coming over, keep an eye on him. Same for the guy who works at Optimum who's coming by to troubleshoot the internet. Anyone can be a bad actor given the right circumstance. And with that, I'm done. <laughs>